Hello and welcome to yet an another lecture on basic electrical engineering. Myself Kothitora, Assistant Professor of Dr. Sudhir Chandra Shruti Pre Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. So till now we have seen the laser diagram of R, L, and C circuit individually, and the conception of leading and the lagging with respect to voltage source or the current source that we have seen. Now today we will discuss about the R, L, and the R, C circuit. So, so in order to view the AC inductance and inductive reactance, this is the general formation of an R L circuit means the only the L circuit is there. So what is the is the AC voltage that we are applying and allow a current IL to flow through the circuit which in terms generate a plug that we have done. Yes, plug phi is proportional to the L and phi is equal to the L I. So the opposition of current flow to an AC inductor is called the inductive reactance and which depends linearly on the supply frequency. So we will mainly focus on the inductive reactance. Inductive reactance is generally inductive reactance is generally known as X inductive reactance. So this we have already done the inductive reactance XL, which is generally equal to 2 pi FL, where XL is the inductive reactance is for home. Pi is a numeric constant, it is 3.142. It is the frequency in the heart, and L is the inductance in Henry. So we can write inductive reactance in terms of radians of the omega also. So the inductive reactance that is XL equal to 2 pi AF. the unit so it's called the inductive reactance xl so we know that omega equal to 2 pi f so we can replace that and to find the total inductive reactance in terms of omega equal to xl equal to omega into f so this is known as inductive reactance So, in order to, this type of, uh, this is the generally uh, inductive circuit and what is inductance and what is the purpose of inductance and if AC supply is given to inductance, what is the voltage and the current output corresponding to the free shape that is known to us. This laser diagram that we have already done, so we will now only concentrate on the combination. First, we will see how the inductive reactance and the current is related to the So, if I saw the relationship between the inductive reactance, say this is our ohms, if I draw, this is our resistance or say current ohms or the amperes, and this is our inductive resistance that is given by the frequency in charge. So, it is seen that. The inductive resistance is directly proportional to the frequency. So XL is directly proportional to the F frequency. And it is an Y equal to MX from. From is generally Y equal to MX. So that is means the a straight line that is passing through the origin. So it will be a straight line that is the XL that is passing through the origin. This is called the graph of XL. And if I draw the current equation, so what is the current equation? Current equation is V by XL. So what is the value of 
current equation. So current equation I L that is current to the inductor it is V by X L voltage that is supply voltage AC is given so V by two pi F L two pi F L so I is inverse proportional to one by F. So it is given as a rectangular high parabola. This will give an equation of rectangle high parabola. It will be like that. Rectangle high parabola. This is the equation of I. That is current going to the inductor or say IL. You can write it as a IL also. That is the current that is going to the inductor is proportional to 1 by F. This is the rectangular high parabola. Today we will do the R plus L circuit. It is a series R L circuit. So today we will discuss about the series R L circuit. This is the general series R L circuit that R R L is connected in series. And the voltage of AC supply voltage V is given, and the voltage across the R is V R, and voltage across the L is V A L. So we all know that if I take voltage as a reference, we have seen that for a L circuit, if I take the voltage as a reference, that we just recall our memory that if I take voltage as a reference, the current is lagging. So if I take current as a reference, the voltage will be leading with respect to the current or a the diagram of AC inductance circuit. The voltage is leading by an angle 90 degree with respect to current when I take current as a reference or other words the voltage if I take voltage as a reference the current will be decreasing by an angle 90 degree lagging by an angle 90 degree so what is the reference that I am taking is the most most important part in order to define if I take voltage as a reference, the current will be lagging. If I take current as a reference, the voltage will be lagging, leading by an angle 90 degree in both cases for a AC inductor. So let us one of the important phenomena is that the inductor which will act as a short circuit when the frequency is zero means when the time is when switch is just closed the inductor behave as a short circuit and inductor behave as an open circuit when the steady state is reached when frequency equal to infinity the inductor behave as an open circuit okay so now let us concentrate on the voltage supply is given and R LC circuit is given so let us concentrate on a RLC circuit, RL circuit, the series combination of an RL circuit, uh, AC voltage is supplied the circuit. So let's, this is a V and this is an R circuit and this is an L circuit. We are concentrating on the R L circuit combination of R and L. So that is allow a voltage drop across the R C V R and the voltage drop across the M C V L V circuit L. So is allow a same with a series combination so this is allow the same current i to flow so if i take i as a reference because the that that will yeah, if i take i as a reference, 
I take I as a reference because same current is flowing through the circuit. So I am taking I as a reference. So we all know the voltage across the resistance is in same phase with the I. It is generally known to us. So let us VR is always in the same phase with the I. If I take why I am taking I as a reference? I am taking I as a reference because the is a series connection, so I will remain same. So this will give a value of VR. Now the L, the conception of the L. If I take the conception of the L, so it is seen that. If I the VL is always leaving the current, the voltage across the inductor. If I take voltage as a reference, that we have seen that the current is lagging by an angle 90 degree. If I take current as a reference, so means the voltage will be voltage across the inductor we will meet by an angle 90 degree. So let us concentrate on the resultant. So this is VL which is leading by an angle that is 90 degree that we have done. So we are very much concentrated on the resultant of that two vectors VR and VL. Please give the Resultant of VR and VL in that particular that is the resultant value of VR and the VL which is denoted by V. V equal to that resultant part will be given by V equal to its vector summation of VR plus VL. So it is seen that the resultant value of the voltage which is V which is leaving the I with some angle that is called pi the resultant value of the voltage of RLC RL circuit is leading by an angle say theta and the resultant voltage V which is leading the current I this one the resultant voltage V this one is leading by an angle theta this one the resultant voltage it is clearly seen from the phasor triangle so five. Okay. This is called the vector diagram. And if I drew the voltage triangle profile, so the voltage triangle profile will give the voltage triangle profile will give that the right angle triangle law that is given the resultant voltage V that is I into Z that is V R. I into I will remain same. I into R, and what is the V? Which is L. It is I into X, the inductive reactance to pi F. So this is given with the help of H. or phi that whatever we can consider theta or phi same the angle that I am considering so this is called the voltage triangle and this is called the vector diagram so what is the V is equal to the RMS voltage that we have already done that, that this is all the for the AC calculations that those voltage are the RMS voltage of the apply voltage I is equal to the RMS value of the series current V are equal to the IR voltage drop across the resistance which is in phase with the current and VL equal to IXL voltage drop across the inductance which is the current by an angle 90 degree that we have done. 
So if I do the voltage from the voltage triangle, we have easily obtained that the value of V squared equal to Vr square plus V S. So value of V equal to root over Vr square plus V S. So if I put the value of Vr is I R, so V equal to root over I R square plus I X square. So what is the value of I that is current that is flowing is V by root over R square plus X square. This is a vector summation. And the quantity root over R square plus Square is represented as the imprisoned Z of the circuit. So, what is the Z of the circuit? It is given that the impedance of the circuit is given that the root over of R square plus X LS square, which is the total impedance of the circuit, where the total voltage V of the circuit is given by this VR square plus root over of Vr square plus Vl square and the total current through the circuit will be given by I equal to the voltage V by that Z means total impedance V by root over of the total in voltage by R square plus Vl square. Is the resultant voltage and the current of the circuit along with the prism diagram and along with the voltage triangle. So the impedance triangle can be calculated with the help for the RL impedance triangle, it is same like the voltage triangle. The impedance square R square equal to Z square equal to R square plus XLN also Z equal to root over R square plus X is the impedance triangle because it can be written as R plus J into XL. So this is same, the impedance triangle is same. And this is the impedance triangle. The J represents that it will give an anti degree phase shift. Anti degree phase shift means like that. There's an anti degree phase shift. The introduction of G. The voltage triangle will be same. But if I draw the voltage, uh, if I draw the impedance triangle, it will give the Z, it will give the R, and it will give the XL. A 90 degree shift is offered due to the presence of the Z, J term, so there is a 90 degree shift. So, what is the angles that we have dealt? So, in order to find the angle, there is the cos inverse phi. There is the cos inverse phi. This can be say this is phi. So, we can find the cos phi on the. Say we can write it in the terms of cos inverse phi. Or the cos phi that will be the r by z. Easily calculate. And what is the sine inverse phi? The sine inverse phi is the sine inverse phi is XL by Z. That is known. Sine inverse phi is XL by Z, and the tan inverse phi is. The tan inverse phi is XL by R. XL by R this is the tan inverse phi. It will be XL by R. So let us take an example in order to visualize that or to add the AC. Inductance. Given that in the following circuit, the supply voltage is defined as VT325 sine omega. This is omega means 2 pi F. T minus 30 degree. L is L equal to 2.2 and determine the value of RMS current flowing through the coil and draw the resulting pressure diagram. So it is given here. The RMS voltage across the coil will be same 
x from the supply voltage if the power supply is peak value is 325 then the phasor then the equivalent RMS value will be 230 volt okay RMS value we can easily find the RMS value real with the help of and and the total xl equal to omega l omega means uh, 2 pi f into l so 2 pi f means is given 334 and 2.2 will give the value 690 and the angle will be 90 degree the angle will be 90 degree and why uh, if i do the rms value of 325 if i do the rms value of 325 that is Is the RMS value of 325. So, if the RMS value V of RMS that is given peak value by root 3, root 2. So, peak value is 325 divided by root 2, or and it will give the value of RMS that is 229. 0.8 which is nearly equal to 230 volt the RMS value and what is the XL XL equal to 2 pi F or omega L 2 pi F L or omega L or omega L and it is given that it is a sine omega T so from that particular value it is given sine 3 14 T this is the value of omega so it will 314 and the value of omega in Henry is 2.2, which is given a value of 690. And why is the angle is angle 90 degree? Because it is an XL. So it will create an angle 90 degree. So if I divided this two, only magnitude will be defined. 230 by 690 will be 3.3 and minus 30 minus 90 will be minus 120 degree. So the current we lagging the voltage by 90 degree in the phasor diagram. So how to draw the phasor diagram? Uh, there is a voltage, if I take this as a reference, so there is a 30 degree phase displacement of the voltage. So this is VL and 120 degree phase displacement between the, and this VL value will be, say how we can draw it, draw the phasor diagram. So let us just take as a reference. Okay. So VL is 30 degree lagging from that equation having a value of 230 so it is uh, minus 30 degree a sine omega t minus 30 degree when it's 314 minus 30 degree so the vl will be lagging by an angle 30 degree so this will be 30 degree okay. with respect to the reference and it's seen that the current value is we have obtained that we have we have found the current value is 0 0.33 and it is lagging by an angle 90 degree. So means so it is 0 0.33 say so it is 90 it is 120 degree it is lagging by so means we have to add an another 90 degree with this another 90 degree so this two will be 90 degree each other and it is value is 0 0.33 that is V that is I L and it is the 90 degrees so total is 90 plus 120 so this one is total will be 120 that is why we can easily able to find the value of this attack so the another example is given that a coil has a resistance of 30 ohm and an inductance of 0 0.5 ampere if the current going to the coil is 4 amperes what will be the RMS value of the supply voltage if the frequency is 50 hertz? F is given 50 hertz. So here it is given R is 30, L is 50, and the current that is I is flowing through the circuit is 4 ampere that is given, and supply is 50 hertz. So what is the impedance? So the inductive reactance XL is 2 pi FL. So 2 pi into F is given 50 and L is given 0.5, so it is 157 ohm. So what is the Z? Z is root over R square plus S square. Just putting those values, we have given the Z is 159.8. So what is the voltage drop at the component? So voltage drop is the total current into Z is given the total voltage drop. So I is 4 into 1159 into 64 voltage. So what is the VR? So VR will be found that 
4 into 30. So what 120 volts? So what is VL? It's 4 into 157 is 6 to 8 volt. So the phase angles can easily be calculated. It is 10 inverse between the current and the supply voltage. It is 10 inverse itself by R. So 157 by 10 inverse 157 by R. R value is 30. So it is 79.2 degree. So the phasor diagram can be done with the help of this is this is VR 120 volt and this is the VL and the resultant is VS. So it is 640 volt. It is 640 volt. So the angle is there is given by 79 degree between them between the VR and the resultant. While I taking I as a reference. So how we will do? We are taking I as a reference. We are taking VR in that angle. So VR value is for the example two. That is VR value that we have found is the 120 volt. Followed by that we are drawing a VL. That is the VL is there. VL is more compared to VR. So VL will be larger compared to VL. VR. So VL is given yes. 28 volt and the resultant how to draw the resultant first we have to in order to draw the resultant we have to first put the first make the angle and then the value so this angle will be given as 79 degree this angle Corresponding value is given as V is equal to 644. That is why you can easily find the value of resultant phase. Let us concentrate on the next topic today of the AC capacitance of the capacitive phase tensor. General formula of the capacitor is known to us. If I capacitor generally used to store that particular voltage, charging and the discharging conception with the time constant RC, and in case of the uh, inductor, it will be L by R is known to us. So this phenomenon that we have already done. So we will concentrate on the this one. The phasor diagram of the AC capacitance is also known to us. When a capacitor is there, so the current is leading the voltage by an angle 90 degree. So what is the capacitive reactance? So we first concentrate on the capacitive reactance. So the capacitive reactance Xc is generally known as 1 by 2 pi f 1 by 2 pi f into C or in other words 1 by omega C. So if I draw that particular graph frequency this is called the capacity to reactance xc so and this is the xc and then the current that is through the capacitor say ic xc in ohms that is the unit of ohms so so the it is seen that the Xc is proportional, inversely proportional to 1 by C. It will be a curve of rectangular hyperabola. It is the curve of Xc. And what is the value of current that is flowing through the circuit is Ic. Current will be C into Xc. The current that is flowing through the circuit that is IC equal to DQ DT, just putting those values that we have done, that the IC will be C, the IC value will be omega C and the C into V, so that is the omega C into V. If I just put it, it is the first order derivative. So IC is directly proportional to 
the omega r sub frequency of f is a straight line that is passing through the y equal to mx formula. So it is straight line that is passing through the origin. This is the equation of I C. You can write is the dvt of v that we can write. You can write it as the dvt of v. This same. So it is a y equal to mx formula. It is a straight line passing through the origin, and another is the rectangular hyperbola. Now, today we will concentrate on the which has a diagram is known to us. That is the RC circuit. So this is a general RC circuit. So in order to find the RC circuit, we will approach the same thing with the help of the RC circuit. So let us. Uh, R is there in the system and the C is there. So it is RC circuit and uh, AC voltage source is there in the circuit. So this is the voltage source and the same kind of flow through the R and C that is the Voltage drop across the R is VR. And the voltage drop across the C is VC. So, same current is flowing, so we can take I as a phasor diagram. I as a reference. So, VR will be always in the same phase with the I that is known to us. Whatever we have seen that for a capacitive circuit, the current will lead the voltage, means voltage will lag the current by an angle 90 degree. So voltage is lag the lag by the current by an angle 90 degrees. So this is DC. It is lagging by an angle 90 degree. So we will find the Value of equivalent voltage that is equivalent voltage is generally the V. The V equal to so vector expression of this R. This is vector expression of V R plus V C and the resultant voltage V which is lagging the current by some angle called phi. We are seeing the resultant voltage leading by some angle phi in case of the inductor, but in case of the capacitor, it is lagging by some angle phi. So that we have already done this portion. Now let us, the voltage triangle can easily be drawn. You want to ask the voltage triangle and the impedance triangle can easily be drawn. So the voltage triangle Saying that this is V R that is I into R that is V C that is I into X C the capacitive reactance and that is the V resultant voltage that is the total impedance of the circuit equal to I into Z this is the V total impedance of the circuit angle that is that is the 90 degree angle because of the present of the J composition and it is leading that is the drop the angle difference between those two is phi. So you can easily draw the so that is the V square equal to V, v total voltage V R square plus V circle that we have done already in case of the Inductor to just keeping the values of IR and IXC. So we are finding the total current I equal to V by Z. Because RC is all the impedance. So what we have done? So what is the V? V is the root over of VR square plus VC square. So just putting the value of VR equal to IR. So we just find the I equal to V by over R square. So 
plus x square that is b by z that is b by z so z is the total impedance of the circuit and can be drawn written as z equal to root over r square plus x square that's the magnitude of the jet or jet can be written in terms of j notification is z equal to r plus g x c so now i am coming to the triangle law there is a triangle law uh, of impedance that is impedance triangle law that, uh, that is r that we have done that is x c and that is the value of z that is angle phi so angle can be written as phi equal to Say for the cos phi tan phi, the value that we have to find that is the impedance due to the presence of z to 90 degree rotated. So cos phi equal to r by z. We can write cos phi equal to r by z. From that, 90 degree rotation is due to the presence of the j notification that is the 90 degree rotation for the present of that we have done for the presence of the z notification and sine. I will be sine phi will be x c by z and tan phi will be x c by r. This sine phi will be x c by z and tan phi will be x c by r. So let us take an example that is given that. A single phase sinusoidal is supply voltage is defined as 240 sine omega t means 314 minus 2 degree. It is connected to a period AC capacitance of 200 microfarad. Determine the value of the current flowing through the capacitor and draw the resulting phase diagram. So it is given. So what is the value of the xc? xc is 1 by j omega c. 1 by j omega into 200 microfarad. That is side voltage that is so 16 angle minus 90 degree. So what is the value of IC? IC equal to VC by JXC. So 240 by 16 minus 20, it is given by minus 90. So it is given that only divided 240 by 16, we just get 15 and minus 20 plus 90 will be give 70 degree angle. So this is the resultant phasor diagram. That is the resultant phasor diagram shows that the resultant phasor diagram that is showing that if I take the reference to this one from that particular the current is leading by an angle 70 degree positive and voltage is 20 degree so difference between them is 90 degree so that is the 70 degree draw a 70 degree angle from here and draw the current so the current that is I see that is leading with the magnitude of 16 having a 70 degree and the voltage that is lagging that will be the resultant that is 20 degrees so that between them total summation will be they are creating a 90 degree angle directional rotation is there that we have seen from that particular angle. Now another example is given that a capacitor is capacitor which has been an internal resistance of 10 ohm and a capacity value of 100 microfarad is connected to the supply voltage and given as Vt equal to 100 sine omega t. Help with the current flowing through the capacitor also construct a voltage triangle showing the individual voltage component. So it is given. So what is the Xc1 by omega C1 by 3.14 omega equal to 100 microfarad equal to 31.85. Oh, it's a calculation and z equal to root over x r square plus x square r is even tens and x is even 31.85 c is converted into the xc then a is converted into the xl for the previous examples 33.4 so what is the current current is the i equal to vc by z that is 100 by the z is 33.4 it is 3 amperes so what is the angle that is created you have to find the angle between the voltage and the current this given by phi equal to 10 inverts xc by r xc value is given just put that value 31.85 and r is given that is 17.6 degree leading for the 
presenter y is reading for the presenter capacitor. So we are going to easily calculate 3 into 10 30 volt, Vc equal to I into Hc, 3 into 31.895.6 volt, and V is equal to root over G squared plus G squared equal to root over 30 squared plus 95.6 square, which is 100. So the resultant voltage triangle can be written in this way. This is the Vc, this is the Vs, and this is the Vr. This red voltage, that is the resultant triangle that, that you can easily draw. VR, this is VC, and this is V. The angle between them is 72.6 degree. That is why it is given as 72.6 degree. And the VL is given as, uh, VC is given as 95.6, 130. And VC is given as 95.6 volt, V e is 100 volt, and VR is 30 volt. Well, 30 volt, this is 95.6 volt that we have done. So today we have discussed about the RL and the RC circuit along with their numerical problems and in order to find the voltage triangle, impedance triangle and the phasor diagram of the resultant voltage. In order to find the phasor diagram of the RL and the RC circuit to find the resultant voltage. Thank you.